why? Why does this have to happen? Why? Look, when I when I was doing the update uh, a few days ago when they released uh, like the two new runic doodles and they showed the ice bug, awakened stalagant, and the banana, I was so hyped for this freaking banana. Why? Why was it dealt this dirty? It is so sad. This thing had a lot of it has potential. Maybe it'll get some kind of buff because it is a max e evolved doodle with like a base stat total of 100 of 407. This thing, I hate it. But you know what? I'm gonna look past my hatred and look toward happiness. Okay. So we're gonna do today. Now here I have magic attack and speed with the trait banana peel. Problem is, this thing's traits suck. Its stats suck. It's a move pool sucks. So I'm going to try my best to just have fun with this thing. Because this thing just generally sucks. So I'm either going to go mentally insane during this video. Or manage to get a sweep and be happy. But basically here we have a power jelly. And our normal trait is actually clueless. Where if uh, we are unable to activate our ability. And it also has a trait exchange. But... Trade exchange resets whenever you switch out, so it's pretty much useless. They just don't activate their item, which means you could technically stop someone from runestoning if they switch into you, which I don't know what you're going to do that against, but. And then with banana peel, if they hit, if they miss a contact move, you take 20% of their max HP and damage. Problem with that, it does not have protect. Just saying, protect is a dream move on this thing, and it'll probably be the one thing I'm fine with getting protect. You all know how much I don't not like protecting moves, but I feel like this would be completely fine to have protect because it doesn't think it'd be that busted because you could just like, it's going to be easily predictable, you know? Huh. But we have banana peel and we also have magical attack and speed. Now listen, I'm not using this thing bulky. I am not going to dedicate 30 minutes to killing one thing with this and then die to literally any plant type. I'm going down with that. I'm going down with a fight. Here I have Armor Break, Food Fight, Plant Zap, and Gem Blast. Now look, I don't think this is the best way to use this thing at all. At this point, I'm just trying to figure out what the heck this thing does. It doesn't do anything. Seriously, if you can figure out what this thing is meant to do and if it does it well, please let me know because this thing just generally sucks from what I've seen and what I've heard and on paper. It just seems like it's going to be bad, but you know what? Maybe it'll, maybe it'll happen. The whole idea is we armor break and then we don't lower our defenses because of power jelly as well because we're also going to have 110 of our defenses so we're honestly pretty bulky on the defensive side so we're never gonna be able to get one hit unless it's from a bug or a fire move uh then we got food fight which is a nice um stab move 65 this is also 65 then you have gem blast to hit spirit types which can also boost our, our magical attack we can further boost this thing these power which is really nice and at level 50 at plus two you get to 198 speed meaning that you can speed tie with max speed base 100 which is nice with equipment i have pale somata health lantern and luminous orb if you wanted to you could go sandstone which would actually allow you to outspeed more things but then you lose out on too much bulk and i don't know if i want to do that but you know enough talk let's see this thing die 27 times before i even get to click armor break once let's let's just find out okay our worst nightmare is here a fire type and i decided to bring mold to hopefully deal with them um okay we're trivially weak to fire kind of i mean we're gonna find out i mean at this point this banana fish i don't know this it's so weird you know but let's find out let's see how powerful we can be as a banana um I feel like mold is not a bad lead. Like, what does mold not do? Mold seems great. Mmm. Yeah. What does that have? Oh, it's menacing. That shouldn't do all too much to me. I guess I can just hit it. I guess, why not? Uh, Goo Blast is very, very good here. So I'm just gonna Goo Blast. There should be a lot on it as well. Chances of them sharpening on the possibility of Voltatu is also possible. Yep. We sharpen a Voltatu. There's gonna be... Oh, Determination Jelly. Okay, if you hear, like... Oh, sick, we poisoned it. Sorry if you hear like, a very strange background noise. But I'll try to talk over it as much as I can, but hopefully you can't hear it. It probably won't be very long. Um, anyway. 
They go into Godzilla Jr. Um, we can always go into this, which then means we can hit and run. Which then means we can get the banana fish on the field and then immediately die to Incinilis. We gotta kill the incense somehow first before we can realistically do anything. Now, you would hopefully see Incin being your best switch. Oh, friend! He has a friend too? Aww. Hi. My name's Umaisho. And I want to eat you. I'm going to eat this guy. Devour. Nice damage. Got an enlightenment. Or tsunami. Water absorb is free. Okay. Umaisho casually being insane in this game is awesome. Ah, the problem is I can't go into the the banana until the incense dead. They go incense, I'm totally earthquaking. Go incense, please. Forgot about the trait. Ah. Yeah, the trait is sometimes easy to forget because you see that button and you just want to click it so badly. <gasps> I will let you hit this fucking earthquake it. Please, please, please let me hit it. I really want to beat it up. So die. Earthquake. I just want to kill it. That's all I want to do. Please. That did no damage. We're chilling. As soon as we kill this. Oh my god, if we kill it, the... The fish could actually do something. But he has two fire types, which means I can't. No. Okay, I will take killing that. If it means I could go into the... Oh, I forgot to put an item back on Overkrill. Oops, I was doing some leveling up and I guess I forgot to put an item back on. Looks like I may have forgotten a few equipments. Maybe it's just on Overkrill though. Um... Well, I can see Rip Current being totally fine. He wouldn't want to switch anything into this. Hangerfish doesn't want to. Mantiskull doesn't want to. Plus, it's like, oh, again, there, there, there's the, there's the Vitamix. I think we're chilling though. Um, Rip Current's free. I take that down. Hopefully, they see Mantiskull being their only switch, because I outspeed Chris Yolde so I can kill it. I can one-shot uh, Hangerfish. I one-shot the Axolotl, so he has to go into Mantiskull here. And then it would just be who outspeeds who. Then it comes down to a game of can mold win. Hmm. I should go to friend, which is interesting. So, um, I should totally be. I'm just gonna title slam. I ain't gonna risk the fact that's not that's not killing. Okay. Goodbye to friend. This end game is really, really nice for the banana if I could kill the Manta Scald. I don't want to kill it because I know the banana can. So I'm going to do everything in my power to get the banana on the field now. Everything I possibly can I'm going to try to do right now to get this banana on the field. Okay. Okay. Let's do this. But now, Tzulis. I shouldn't die to an Icy Punch. I have high defense. Any armor break? <sighs> we chillin'? Okay. Let's go! This, if this thing had Blessed Blade, imagine thinking had Blessed Blade. Okay. And then I food fight here. <gasps> yes! Okay. They have Manta Scald. Which they could just click rip, click rip current. But hey. We got literally a single kill. We got one kill. And that's what I'm happy about. My name's Mold. How do you like being walled? Goo Blast. If I go Crigilde, I have friend.
to go into Godzilla Jr., which is just gonna do some good damage generally. Okay, we have friend. Earthquake does quite a bit, but we should be chilling. Um, we get to Psycho Force for free. You can't, you don't, you can't switch into this very well. Earthquake, Psycho Force does huge damage. Hopefully, gets a kill. Nice, and now we win with Mold. Okay, the fact that there were two Fire types on his team was very annoying because my team does threaten Fire types pretty well. So generally, I just want to try to kill them as quick as I can. All right, now Mold is free to just get a free KO. And we send in the Mold to go for a Goo Blast. GG. Good game. Good, good game. Well, the Banana Fish got a total of one kill and I'm happy. Okay, it's another Mantis Scald, but hey. I can dream if I want to kill it. I can do anything. I have Mold, so I just have to kill the Mantis Scald, and Mold does really good at this person's entire team. We just need to also kill the... I think that's... Uh, I forget. Voliable, I think. Um, let's do this in case they go with Draco Thread. Okay. A Thread. Aha. <laughs> How hilarious. I guess I can just hit it. All Yarn Snare does is lower damage on oh, my show. Uh, I see Disarms actually. There's going to be a free KO on that, which is nice. Very, very nice. And we're chilling. We're doing good. Okay, as they go into that, so we're always gonna go into friend, because, for, oh, I again forgot to add him an overcurl. Okay. It's fine. Okay, and my mind move is really strong here, because even if they decide to go into polar geist, I. Oh, ambush. Yeah, it does have ambush. It does crit me, though. Okay. And I'm dead, actually. Oof. But hey, at least we get a KO there on the Voliable. And... Let's see if they go Mantis Scald. I'm gonna do this. Let's play thing offensive. Oh, nice! Beautiful for me. Alright, free Rust. They have no switches into Rust. All I gotta do is kill that Mantis Scald, dude. My only goal right now is to kill that Mantis Gold. It's just shield bash me at this point. It's fine. I'm not worried about it. Just gonna air strike now. Okay. Now we have our Mantis Skull, which can throw out a brutally powerful rip current. Which, they're only switching to this would realistically be nothing, because it does way too much damage. Quick Strike comes out. Okay, so they just want to get guaranteed damage and over. On Mantis Scald, not over Krill. Okay, can they please go into their Mantis Scald? God, I just want to kill it! Thank you! Oh my god. Just let me win with the banana! He outsped. Okay. <laughs> it's so sad. It's so sad. And he's never gonna let me get the kill on that. Not very effective doing half your health. True. Alright. Uh, I'm cursed cloak so my rust can kill this. It's so irritating, dude. Necromancy. That does negative damage. Because Necromancy's not a good move. To go into Taz Marauder. Ha! Ah, this is gonna kill me. 
Uh, question is, does do I beat Mantis Scald if I lose this? No, I don't. So let's see if I can tank a hit. Uh, I'm gonna lose. Yeah, I'm not winning. Oh, maybe he's, uh, oh, if he's banned, actually. No, even if he's choice banned. I'd have to reveal if he's choice banned or not. Okay, he heat bashes. If he doesn't have speed investment, I should outspeed it. But I doubt I do. But let's see. Is the banana just gonna die? Because she sent in the fire type at the last minute? Yeah. Uh, yeah, the, the, the poor, the poor banana. What is this freaking banana meant to even do? It's terrible. What do I do? This has to be my worst nightmare. What is happening? Oh my God. There's no, there is a fire type, but I can hit this. I can hit this fire type. With a move that's not gonna do a lot of damage, but hey, at least it's it's uh, it's hope, and that's all I need right now is hope. What do I lead with it? Huh. Um. Crap. Uh. <laughs> I'm gonna die. Uh. Yeah. Okay. Go for your Icy Slash, kill this instantly so I lose to everything else on your freaking team. Okay. For whatever reason, he clicked Quick Sting. Um. I don't know. Uh. I guess I get damage, then I have Rip Current. Makes that thing pretty much useless. Oh. Hmm. This is not very fun. I'm just gonna keep air striking it, why not? What can he do besides if he belches I just get health? Sick, I crit him. Let me shock therapy. I mean it's got opal pulse? That doesn't do anything. Holy crap, this mon sucks. Okay, I have an idea. Hold on. Oh, intriguing. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. This can work. Armor break, but he has quick sting. No, nothing I ever do will matter. It doesn't matter what I do. Okay, here we go. Can I kill this thing with Gem Blast? That's the ultimate question today. Not, not even, not even. Ah, wait, wait, it's possible. Hold up, wait a minute. No, but he has Glacigash, which he can go into. But no, he'd overpredict and go for Icy Slash and Bull Tattoo. Nope. I'm gonna stay with I'm gonna stay with ban Banana Dolis. Ben Ban Outolis. Now look, he's gonna go into his Glacigash, overthink going for Quick Sting, go for his uh, Icy Move on Bull Tattoo, right? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. The freaking banana. No. No, it's over. The banana's gone. Please kill. No! It's de Why are they all determination jelly? Stop! No! Please! Stop! No! I 
felt true happiness, you know. I felt like I had achieved something, but look, we did it. This game was an actual sweep if he wasn't Determination Jelly. You know? Uh, I don't... I don't know anymore. Like... This guy's over-predicting way too much. Some of these moves I don't even want to make. A luminous toad. That shouldn't kill me. It's, it's neutral, so that, that shouldn't kill me. Oh. That did more than I thought it was going to do. Ugh. I'm done at this point. Is that... Sapphire? Is it? No way, right? I didn't just lose to this, did I? Heh, I'm gonna die. I gotta devour it and steal its boosts. He crits me, gets... 50 health back. You know, I think it's safe to say I ain't win this. That's for sure. Maybe I can play lame win game. Maybe I can do that. No, he has that. Okay, well, I'm overpowered now, but he has like every good move maybe i can do play lame win game but i, I can't because of the existence of that no i can play lame win game i can play lame win game oh we're gonna play this game i'm down let's go bud you want to go? I'll play this game. That's not doing a whole lot to me. He's getting a lot of his health back. But I'm getting my boosts. Yeah. It's so sad how I, I... Could I have actually killed this thing in one hit with the banana? That's a question I have to think about now. Did the banana actually one hit it? I'm at plus three in comparison to his nothing. I get Psycho Force now, I think. I'm basically at plus one. If you want to think about it like that against this thing with Psycho. Or if it does the whole damage and then halves it. Well, he's dead to this next Psycho. He's got to go into Horror Beast. He should die to this Psycho. Yeah, you ain't living that. That hits him first before he gets the health back, right? Wait. It is not over. It is not over. How fast am I? It's over. Goodbye. I enjoyed myself, but yeah. Oh! <gasps> We chillin'! Was not even close, dude. Gonna enlightenment up. <laughs> he did the weird, he did the bad quick strike there. You can never, you can never risk anything. I win. You lose. Even a crit won't save you now. 
Even a para won't save you now, bud. It's over. <sighs> you know, I didn't really expect to win this, but hey, turns out the banana fish is a little better than I thought. Especially when someone over predicts just a little too much. Now you listen to me real close right now. You listen to me. This banana fish is utterly terrible. Why is it so bad? It doesn't do freaking anything. It's supposed to it's supposed to set up parasitic seeds and do stuff, but it can't threaten plant types. It is terrible. Don't use this freaking fish. Why, dude? Why?